Stephen Hawking was undoubtedly one of the brightest minds that ever lived. The British astrophysicist was considered an absolute luminary in his field and made outstanding achievements in the world of cosmology, general relativity, and black holes. When Hawking was in his early 20s, he was diagnosed with the degenerative disease ALS, which eventually confined him to a wheelchair and left him unable to speak. Despite these heavy blows of fate, the genius never let himself be dissuaded from his path. And as is well known, the Briton was also able to become famous far beyond the borders of his scientific circles. Hawking died in 2018 at the age of 76, but his legacy lives on. Today, we want to share with you a look at five exciting predictions the astrophysicist made about the future. According to Hawking, what fate will befall all mankind? What warnings did the Brit give us? Should we keep searching for extraterrestrial life? Let's see what Hawking had to say on these exciting topics. Before we get started, be sure to hit the like button and ring the notification bell for more videos. Also, stick around until the end to learn about one of the most concerning and terrifying predictions that Stephen Hawking made before his death. Reign of the Superman Stephen Hawking was by no means the only person to speculate about the course of the future. However, the predictions that the astrophysicist worked out in the course of his life differed drastically in one respect from those predictions that Nostradamus made. For example, they were based on scientific knowledge. So, while most fortune tellers still use a mystical crystal ball to look into the future, Hawking shared a world of thought that was based on years of research and the conclusions derived from it. The Briton often found himself in the role of a reminder who also shed light on the downsides of the scientific milestones. Regarding future human development, Hawking stated that some advances in genetic engineering may mean that we'll wipe out our species in its original form. Henceforth, an elite team of physically modified, above-average intelligence superhumans would call the shots. Once the technology to do this is mature, it will initially only be reserved for the richest of the rich. If they now decide to manipulate their genome, they would also radically change the genetic makeup of future generations. Hawking described the epoch opened up with such interventions as self-designed evolution. Henceforth, it'll be possible to selectively change and arbitrarily improve human DNA. We have already succeeded in decoding the human genome. In other words, we've managed to open the Book of Life, so one day we may be able to immortalize our own chapters in it. According to Hawking, future genetic manipulations will be limited to repairing genetic defects. However, this development will eventually lead to a deep division in society. The ability to literally shape people from the drawing board will divide us into distinct groups, each one superior in body and mind to the other. According to Hawking, what initially sounds like a distant science fiction scenario could begin in just a few decades. So the astrophysicist was certain that humanity will find out in this century how to change both human intelligence and instincts, such as aggression through targeted interventions. According to Hawking, this type of genetic engineering will probably be subject to strict rules and laws. Nonetheless, some people won't be able to resist the temptation to improve basic human traits such as memory, disease resistance, and life expectancy. Once an elite group of superhumans are created in this way, they'll compete with the traditional members of our species. The conflict between superhumans and normal persons would lead to great problems within the population. According to the astrophysicist, the old guard of humanity faces a very bleak future. Since they won't be able to keep up with their genetically modified contemporaries, they'll probably die out or eke out an insignificant existence on the fringes of society. The superhumans, on the other hand, will strive to constantly improve themselves and their descendants, which means that this development is self-reinforcing practically unchecked. Farewell to Earth 
Archaeological finds show that Homo sapiens has been roaming our globe for thousands of years. If Stephen Hawking has his way, however, the relationship between man and Earth must one day be severed. But why did the Briton think that the survival of our species can only be secured by permanently colonizing another celestial body? In this regard, Hawking argued that at some point humanity will fall victim to a tremendous catastrophe. When exactly this mass extinction will be set in motion, only the future can tell. The events that conceal our end include, for example, the impact of a massive asteroid and the associated consequences. But this is just one of many conceivable end-of-time scenarios. The rise of artificial intelligence, climate change, genetically modified pathogens, or a global nuclear war could also set the decline of mankind in motion. Although the probability of such a catastrophe may initially appear to be quite low from a purely statistical point of view, it will continue to add up over time. What currently seems like a surreal notion will, according to Hawking, become an almost certain event in the next 1,000 to 10,000 years. So, based on that assumption, it would be grossly negligent to risk everything and stay on Earth forever. Thankfully, according to Hawking and many other scientists, by the appropriate time, humanity would have the means to establish permanent colonies in space. Keep your head down! One of the most central aspects of modern space exploration is trying to prove the existence of extraterrestrial life. As is well known, however, the experts have not yet been able to track down one of our cosmic neighbors. True to the motto, if the aliens don't make themselves known, we'll draw attention to ourselves. Some attempts to contact extraterrestrial civilizations have already been made in the past. Just think of the pioneer plaques that left our blue home planet on board the eponymous space probes in the early 1970s. The Voyager 1 and 2 spacecraft, which are now in the most remote corners of the solar system, were also equipped with the so-called Voyager Golden Records before they were launched. These sometimes more, sometimes less encrypted messages contain some basic information about humanity and the Earth. As we all know, attempts at contact so far have always fallen on deaf ears, and if Hawking has his way, we're lucky that this is the case. The astrophysicist emphatically appealed that we should absolutely avoid sending further messages into space in the future. In fact, humanity should do everything possible to remain undiscovered for as long as possible. It's therefore conceivable that the information we serve up on a silver platter ends up in the hands of an aggressive life form. The aliens might not even be interested in having a peaceful exchange with us. Accordingly, the Earth could appear to them as a rich source of resources to conquer and plunder. Using the data that we previously revealed ourselves, it would be easy for such civilizations to expose our vulnerabilities and prepare for a major invasion. In this regard, Hawking recalled the discovery of America by Christopher Columbus. Instead of entering into respectful, peaceful contact with the indigenous population, the invading Europeans subjugated them and killed them en masse. Rise of the Machines A look at the past shows that human life has changed drastically within just a few generations. While our ancestors rode horses and had to carry out everyday tasks by hand, in our modern day we can fully count on the support of machines. However, Stephen Hawking warned that the increasing mechanization of life also harbors some serious risks. This is especially the case if we'll one day succeed in creating fully artificial intelligence. In fact, it's even possible that such an achievement will herald the end of the human race. For example, advanced machine intelligence could be able to match or even surpass humans. But even if the super smart AI robots don't rebel against their creators, there are are some problems. While artificial intelligence will bring great wealth and prosperity to a section of society, it will also take over many jobs previously occupied by humans. Consequently, poverty will also increase in these parts of society. The Destiny of the Earth 
In the past, Venus was often referred to as the cosmic twin of the Earth, since it wasn't possible for researchers to look behind the dense cloud band of our neighboring planet for a long time, the most adventurous speculations were made up in this regard. Up until the 1960s, it was considered conceivable that the surface of Venus resembled a blooming jungle world bursting with different creatures. We now know that the experts were very wrong back then, because our neighboring planet is actually more of a poisonous furnace. The the impenetrable cloud veil of the celestial body consists mainly of corrosive sulfuric acid. The extreme greenhouse effect in turn causes the planet's surface to climb to values of up to 465 degrees Celsius. Some of you are probably wondering why we're telling you all this. Well, this is because, according to Stephen Hawking, we're in danger of turning the Earth into a second Venus. According to this, we're currently close to a fundamental tipping point. Once this point has been exceeded, global warming will be unstoppable. Despite his forecasts of extraterrestrial raids and the rise of artificial intelligence, the astrophysicists saw by far the greatest danger for the Earth and its inhabitants in dramatic climate change. It's to be hoped that one day our home planet will not really become a real twin of Venus. Solar Flare According to other scientists, global warming isn't the only thing that threatens our planet and our very existence. Everyone knows that the sun constantly emits radiation, but there are also so-called solar flares, in which a particularly large amount of radiation, gases, and other particles are emitted. Some eruptions hit the Earth and cause a geomagnetic storm. This was the case in October 2021. As a result, an anomalous aurora could be seen in some places on Earth. This is a glow from atoms in the atmosphere that are normally only excited by magnetism near the poles. In addition, power lines, radio transmitters, and satellites were disrupted. But solar flares also have the positive effect of cleaning space debris from Earth's orbit. Because the Earth's atmosphere expands for a short time, space debris sinks and burns up. Solar storms were observed as early as 1859. Electrical devices and systems are now being built in such a way that they're not disturbed by solar flares as much as possible, and our atmosphere protects us from the dangerous radiation. However, astronauts on the Moon or Mars would be at the mercy of the Sun, and you must wonder whether our atmosphere can really keep everything dangerous from us. In addition to all the beautiful things, the planet we live on also has many dangers in store for us in the coming years. Sometimes it's also human beings who endanger our own existence. A Grim Future for Humanity Aside from Stephen Hawking's predictions of a superhuman race potentially taking over the world, he also had a few other things to say about AI. In particular, Hawking made a bold statement a short while before his death that has left many people baffled and terrified about the future of humanity. He said, The advent of superintelligent AI would either be the best or worst thing ever to happen to humanity. He continued by saying, The real risk with AI isn't malice, but competence. A superintelligent AI will be extremely good at accomplishing its goals, and if those goals aren't aligned with ours, we're in trouble. You're probably not an evil ant hater who steps on ants out of malice, but if you're in charge of a hydroelectric green energy project and there's an anthill in the region to be flooded, too bad for the ants. Let's not place humanity in the position of those ants. It seems that, while Hawking was obviously a fan of certain forms of AI, he feared for what the world may turn into after AI becomes available on a much more global scale. These days, artificial intelligence is more of a novelty than anything else. For example, AI is able to create photos of landscapes, predict what people may look like when they're older, and other entertaining tasks. And there are also much more advanced forms of AI that can help scientists design certain products, drive our cars for us, or help us better understand 
and the world around us. However, if we allow artificial intelligence to become sentient and make its own decisions, that's when things can quickly become scary. Hawking elaborated on his previous statement about superhumans and said, once such superhumans appear, they're going to be significant political problems with the unimproved humans who won't be able to compete. Presumably, they'll die out or become unimportant. Instead, there'll be a race of self-designing beings who are improving themselves at an ever-increasing rate. If the human race manages to redesign itself, it will probably spread out and colonize other planets and stars. These are truly harrowing thoughts to be shared by an incredibly smart man during his final days on the planet. Alright folks, now your opinion matters. What do you think of the predictions and warnings Stephen Hawking gave us? Do you agree with the genius's thoughts, or do you think the Brit was wrong on some points? We're already looking forward to your comments. If you enjoyed our foray into the mind of Stephen Hawking, please give us a thumbs up. Also, while you're at it, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell to stay up to date from now on. Thank you for your interest. Have a good one, and see you next time.